Thank you for watching this tuitional video by Lantai Compliance Services on Electrical Installation Condition Reports. Condition reports were introduced in January 2011 as part of the amendments to BS 7671 2008-17th edition. This tuitional video covers a few items within the condition reports that are significant and have significant impacts on installers and testers providing these services. First change is the name. The condition reports are really that. We deal with the installation's integrity and safety as opposed to the items which just do not comply as was the case in the periodic inspection regime. The first reports available to our, our disposal are the reports for installations up to 100 amps single phase and free phase although not exclusively domestic. Pages 1 and 2 are effectively the old pages 1, 2 and 3 of a periodic inspection and deal with client details, site details, extents, limitations, operational limitations which is something new and also observations and recommendations which have significant changes with regards to the coding that will be dealt with in future videos. Biggest change here is the inclusion of a two page schedule of items inspected. These two page tick sheets has caused a great deal of concern and confusion on how to implement these across installations above 100 amps which is what we will come into next. On top of all that we've got circuit details and schedule of test results to be provided for every distribution board. <clears throat> now then, the other report at our disposal are for installations over 100 amps. The content is exactly the same as before, although one significant change. As of yet, there are no requirements in BS7671 or any associated code of practice to provide a schedule of items inspected on installations over 100 amps. So yeah, that basically covers it. There are no requirements to provide a tick sheet. No need to waste your time doing a tick sheet. If you're working on an installation with a 1600 amp ACB at the point of origin, your lads should be pretty well clued up, experienced and qualified to not need spoon feeding. With respect, if you look in the back of the regs, you will also see a, a list of items which can be inspected and you can agree what needs to be inspected with the client before commencing the project. However, there are still no requirements for you to provide that in a written form. So as it says, at present there are no requirements to provide a tick sheet um, for installations over 100 amps single phase or free phase. That should reduce a significant amount of work, especially for national testing companies, which are still providing tick sheets and maybe just deleting the 100 amps by some means of a PDF changer. This has been recognized and dealt with by many of the large software providers. Um, we're looking at Amtec Power Software, Amtec Fast Test 2012 here, and as we can see on the schedules of items, it said that it's for up to 100 amps. If you notice just above, there's a little tick box that says include this schedule when char uh, when when printing. So if you untick that box, when you process and provide this report in the form of a PDF, there will be no tick sheet. You don't need to provide them. You've got enough to do as it is. So don't bother wasting your time. For further information regarding this and to get it from the horse's mouth, if you go onto your address bar and just type in www.theit.org, go to the IT website, the IT with a gentleman who um, kindly provided us with the wiring regulations in the first place, tick in the search bar on site guide. Yes, I know it's only for installations up to 100 amps. However, there is a really good video on the IT website regarding the on site guide and the changes within the on-site guide in relation to the amendments um, to the wine regulations and there's a good section there regarding condition reports that do tell you so effectively from the horse's mouth so this isn't my interpretation this isn't um, a misinterpretation or a misunderstanding of the wine regulations getting straight from the horse's mouth here that there are no requirements for installations over 100 amps to be sporting a tick sheet of items inspected Really, the items inspected side of things for installations up to 100 amps were, like I said, or like I've mentioned previously, um, mainly as a really sort of like idiot proof guide to inspecting smaller installations. And I'm not calling anybody an idiot, 
Um, however, there are quite a considerable amount of uh, five-day domestic installers out there that may lack experience when providing these services to other installations. Um, so therefore, by putting it down in a pretty straightforward, shouldn't really get yourself your wires crossed guide to inspecting. Um, if they follow that point by point by point, then they should really cover all bets. But for the boys out there that have done the four-year um proper apprenticeship who have got years of experience you know you don't you don't need to be told how to suck eggs uh, and i think this has been well addressed i hope you found this informative please subscribe to our youtube channel um and provide us with information if you want to email me across with topics that'll be a great help